After God rejected Saul at Gilgal, God sent Samuel to anoint somebody else, a man after his own heart, and he sent him to the home of Jesse the Bethmelite, so someone that lived in Bethlehem. Samuel was afraid that Saul would hunt him down when he found out that he was going to anoint another king. God actually gave Samuel a cover story of going down and offering to sacrifice with this family. They went through seven of Jesse's sons, didn't find the right one, and Jesse ends up explaining that he's got one more son who's out in the field taking care of the sheep. And that's exactly where they found David. David would have been out in an area just like this. I'm seeing these little paths cutting through the field. What are those? Well, those are actually paths caused by the sheep as they walk through here. Shepherds still bring their sheep to these hillsides even today. This is not what I would have pictured a field to look like. We often have the idea of pasture land and where you would take sheep to graze as being nice and lush and green but we're in the hill country of Judah, and this is the area where people would have been. I don't think it's an overstatement to talk about how formative David's time was as a shepherd, as a young man. You know, he references uh, the lessons he learned taking care of his sheep and defending them when he's explaining to Saul, look, God took care of me fighting off a lion and a bear. He's gonna take care of me as I go out and fight this Philistine. He refers to David as the shepherd of Israel, how he took him from shepherding sheep to shepherd his people. And it's interesting too that once you get to the New Testament that Jesus pulls that imagery to talk about himself. And he says, I am the good shepherd. Of course, a good shepherd, just like David would have been, would know how to take care of his sheep and know how to provide for them and protect them. We've seen them responding to their shepherd's call. You know, he'll whistle, he'll click, he'll have an instruction, and they turn and they pay attention. Taking care of animals is not always a glamorous job. You know, it's smelly, it can get dirty, you're out in the open. It was that kind of responsibility that God used to get David ready for leading the kingdom. The occupation of a shepherd hasn't changed from David's time to now. Same country, same hillside, same type of pastures, same trails. The Bible knows what it's talking about as it describes this millennia old occupation that was so formative, it just really helped to visualize that. It makes it come alive. I'm Craig. And I'm Stu, and we're the founders of Appian Media. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content that you've just seen. This was only made available through the generous donations of so many of you. We believe that the world should have biblically accurate, visually engaging content about the Bible, and it should be free for everyone. We would encourage you to visit the membership page of appianmedia.org and consider becoming a reoccurring member. Everything that you donate to Appian Media is tax deductible. However you decide to donate, we really appreciate your support.